Have you ever seen the ants on any sweet eatable? Monkey snatching items? Ants moving in a line? So, why does this happen? Think and tell me. This is because animals also have different senses, just like humans. Can you name the five senses which we have? We can see from the eyes. Hear from the ears. Taste from the tongue. Smell from the nose and feel from the skin. Animals also have these superpowers. They can see, hear, taste, smell, and feel. These senses in animals are stronger and more developed than human beings. Therefore, these senses in animals are known as super senses. That is the reason why the ants follow their friends by their smell and the monkeys see their prey. So, now we know that animals too have super senses. Let us now study in detail the super senses acquired by different animals. First, we will talk about ants. We just saw ants moving in a line. So, can you tell me how did the ant recognize a friend? Ants use antennae to smell, touch, feel, and communicate with other ants. As the ants move, they leave a smell on the ground. The other ants follow the smell to find the way. With the help of these special senses, the ants learn about other ants that are part of its group. Now, think of an incident where you got frustrated because of a mosquito. You all might have experienced it. But how did mosquito find us? Mosquitoes can find us by the smell of our body, the smell of the sole of our feet, and the heat of our body. Also, some male insects can recognize their females by their smell. Let us talk about dogs now. Have you ever seen a dog sniffing? We all have. This is because the dogs have a super sense of smell. They can even smell the faintest smell too. Dogs mark out their own area on the road. They can make out if another dog has come into their area by the smell of its urine or potty. This special sense of smell of dogs is used by humans for catching criminals and for detecting undesirable things or bombs. Next, we move on to birds. Students, can you tell me about a bird that has eyes on both sides of the head? Yes, yes. Most birds like sparrows, crows, pigeons, eagles, etc. have their eyes on either side of the head. When they look straight ahead, their eyes focus on the same object. In most birds, eyes are fixed and cannot move. So, birds have to turn their heads to see around. Now, we talk about the birds who have eyes in front. An owl has eyes in front of its head, like in humans. So, when a bird focuses both eyes on an object, it can estimate the distance. When its eyes focus on two different things, it increases its range of vision. With two eyes, the span of vision increases. Let us look at some important points. Some birds like kites, eagles, and vultures can see four times as far as we can. That is, these birds can see things from a distance of 8 meters, what we can see from a distance of 2 meters. An eagle in the sky can see a prey on the ground from a distance of 1 and a half to 2 kilometers. So, here comes another question for you. Do animals see colors? The correct answer is that animals cannot see as many colors as we can. It is believed that animals that are awake in the daytime can see some colors, like crow. While those animals that are awake at night can see things only in black and white colors, like owl. Let us discuss the ears of animals and the sounds they hear. Can you name an animal whose ear you cannot see? Absolutely yes. We cannot easily see birds' ears. Their ears are small holes covered with feathers. But what if I can ask you to name the animals whose ears are bigger than yours? Yes, there are many animals. The large ears of animals can collect more sound waves, making their hearing power stronger than ours. As you can see, snakes do not have external ears. That means you cannot see them. 
They only feel the vibrations on the ground. Next, we talk about langur. High up on a tree, a langur warns others of dangers like a tiger. The langur does this by making a special warning call. What about birds? Birds also give alarm calls to warn about the danger. Some birds even have different sounds for different kinds of dangers. Even fishes give alarm calls by electric signals. Dolphins also make different sounds to give messages to each other. Some pet animals like dogs, cats, and parrots can be trained to understand our language. We all love sleeping. Don't we? And we usually sleep for 6 to 8 hours per day. But some animals go into a long, deep sleep in certain seasons. Then they are not seen for many months. Also, have you ever wondered why lizards are not seen in winters? This is because they go to sleep during entire winters. A sloth is one of those animals, which looks like a bear but is not. It spends almost 17 hours a day sleeping while hanging upside down on a tree branch. The sloth eats the leaves of the same tree on which it lives. And when it has eaten enough leaves from that tree, it moves to the nearby tree. They live for about 40 years and move around only 8 trees. Sloths come down once a week from the tree to relieve themselves. The tiger is one of the most alert animals, yet it is in danger. Can you tell me some amazing facts about tigers? Let us have a look. A tiger can see six times better at night than most of us. The tiger's whiskers are very sensitive and can sense the movements or vibrations in the air, and that helps them to move in the dark and find their prey. Tigers also make different sounds for different purposes, like when it is angry or to call out to a tigress. Each tiger has its own area, which may cover several kilometers and mark their area with its urine. Let me now tell you an interesting fact about animals. Animals are killed, and their parts are sold. Can you name an animal and a product you use made from it? Pause the video and think. Now I have some examples for you. Elephants are killed for their tusks. The tusk is the teeth of an elephant that is used to make jewelry. Secondly, rhinoceros are killed for their horn. You can see here that the horn is used to make ornaments. Tigers, crocodiles, and snakes are killed for their skins. The skin of these animals is used to make leather products like belt. Lastly, musk deer are killed to make scent from their musk. Now, what do we call the people who kill animals? People who kill animals are called hunters and poachers. With this, we come to an end of the chapter that is Super Senses. Now, it is really important to practice these concepts to score well in exams, so you must solve lots of questions. You can now visit the EduRef website or app for topic-wise tests and detailed notes. You can unlock all the locked videos, documents, and tests of class 5 with the EduRef Infinity Plan to ace your exam at less than 80 rupees per month. Thank you. See you in the upcoming videos.